Hi everyone, it is time now for Better Money and Joel Johnson is a certified financial planner and managing partner for Johnson Brunetti. He is here to talk about changes in pension. So thanks. This can be a big issue for folks, especially with all the job market changes. Yeah, well, first of all, a lot of pensions have just gone away, but people still have those promised benefits. So if you ha if you work for a company and the pension stopped 10 years ago, meaning they stopped contributing for newer employees, you still have that pension benefit. They didn't take it away. They can't take it away. And so the choices become very, very important because, yes, there's a lot of layoffs. There's a lot of people taking early retirements. And this pension is an important part of a retirement plan. So number one, you need some analysis. And what does that do? What, what do we look at when you do that? So you want to analyze a pension. Some people just think of, like, for instance, my grandfather got a pension from a company who worked for for 40 years. He didn't think a second thing about it. He just got the check the day he retired. Pensions are different now. We have a number of different choices. And so you want to do a financial analysis to help you figure out when exactly should you collect that pension. And many times there are a lot of choices of survivorship benefit or do I want cost of living increase and so on. And there might be a lump sum option. I know this is happening with a lot of companies who want to get rid of the pensions. They might say, hey, you want this lump sum? And it's tempting, but I guess how do we know if we should take it? Well, again, you want to do a thorough analysis. And let's talk about the reason companies are doing this. People are living longer. So companies made a promise based on people dying at, let's say, 80 years old. And if they have to pay that payment out four, five, six, seven years longer, it costs them a lot more money. So they're saying, we want to get that that risk off of our books, let's just give people a lump sum. And for some people, a lump sum is a good deal. But again, you've got to do that proper analysis. Yeah. And then if you got that lump sum, um, you could um, invest it your, yourself, which might actually be better. Correct. You have the flexibility, you have c the control, and you can leave it to someone else if you don't use up all the money. We shouldn't just go on vacation with it. No. Don't okay. just, yeah. And definitely don't take a check, roll it over into an investment account where you get tax deferral. Gotcha. Okay. Um, next is a stream of payments. Well, that's why people love pensions if that, you're lucky enough to have them. That's why people love pensions. If somebody isn't great with money, they should take a stream of payments because that removes the temptation of spending too much, and that stream of payments is guaranteed to live as long as you do. Okay. And then interest rates. Rates. What, how does that factor in? Our interest rates have been a little crazy lately. So when interest rates are higher, if somebody's got a fixed income, their income might not keep up with inflation. So that's an important thing to remember is, you know, if you collect your pension based on, let's say, five years ago when interest rates were low, it might not keep up with inflation. Again, this is another reason to consider possibly a lump sum. Okay. So to help people understand um, what's the best option, uh, Joel has a free offer. It's called the Lump Sum Pension Payment Guide. To get this for free, go to bettermoneytv.com and you and the team will answer any questions and send it out for free. We'll answer any questions and these are the critical things people need to know before they make a decision. Alrighty. Thanks so much, Joel. Thanks, Kara. And that's Better Money.